Today we're going to talk about weasels. I used to use a lot of this type of jig when I was younger. We used to use um, lures called Grim Reapers and um, uh, Lethal Lures in those days. They had the trebles at the bottom. But what's happened over the years is they've been refined and turned into a product that really is super efficient at catching fish. These weasels, there's nothing that looks too radical about them. It's simply that they've got all the basic components absolutely spot on. They've got a great shape. They come in a range of fantastic colours and the assist rig makes all the difference in the world. What I find with that there is that it's, uh, it's actually able to go and hook the fish well but it's actually less likely to hook the bottom. So we've got a lure that's just so much more effective in many different ways. Well I always recommend to people that we attach it like you do with any jig on the solid ring so it's not actually on the lure itself. It's attached to that assist rig, that solid ring. They're a great lure for fishing in say anything from well 10 metres and even less sometimes. 10, 15 metres depending on just how murky it is. You can get away with shallower because it actually masks the uh, shadow of your boat uh, if you've got dirty water and um, perhaps a little bit of current. But uh, yeah, sort of I, I tend to fish 15, 20 metres all the way through to 50, 60 metres depending on just what um, uh, I'm, I'm actually trying to go and catch at the time and just how good the conditions are. Uh, this particular one, it's luminous so it shows up really well deep down. Once again, wouldn't have a range if we didn't have an orange one. It's orange and pink so you've got actually two really good colours in that one. They go from 25 grams through to 60 and here's our pink one. We've got pure silver and it's also got luminous elements on it too which I like so it does show up deeper down. And this one here, it's a really weird one, it's very polarising. This red chrome, I can't tell you the number of times I've found these just chomped to bits. Big teeth marks in them so they really do work. I'm, I'm always amazed, like it just doesn't look like something that I would have thought that a fish would like but they definitely do work. As far as the action's concerned, it's just a Sometimes a jiggling lift, sometimes it's a big slow lift, sometimes you might do it a bit faster, sometimes you might just do a very slow mechanical jig. I actually really like to use it on our, well it actually works on pretty much any one of our rods. This one here, the titanium, just works really really well. It's got a nice limber tip so that it actually works the lure well and it also absorbs the bumps and bangs so that those hooks don't rip out and it's got enough length so that if I want to give it a nice big lift and drop down, it's able to do that too. This lure of course flutters quite a bit on the descent, so having a rod that will actually make the most of that, give it a nice big fluttering descent, is a good thing. Um, and also of course when you hook up, it doesn't take too much to set the hooks, but having a bit of extra lift with that, that tip, that's good to help make sure that that hook stays in nice and firmly. Again, as I was just saying to you, we look at um, getting the lure up ahead of the boat, so that it spends longer time straight up and down. Once it hits the bottom, do a quick reaction just in case it's a fish, so you can hook up. If it's not, it's just doing those yo-yoing lifts. As, as, I, as I was saying before, you need to go and make sure that you don't stick to the same sort of thing, they get bored by that. So little stuttering ones sometimes, maybe some big lifts, some, and then just maybe do some repetitive ones for a little bit. And um, once it gets to around about 45 degrees, you definitely want to go and um, wind in, perhaps even before that, because of course your lure is no longer being lifted and dropped, it's actually being pulled sideways and it doesn't allow it to have very much in the way of a fluttering motion. If you're finding that your lure is going out too quickly, you might want to put a drogue out and um, you put on a heavier weight of um, weasel. But these here, they really are fantastic. I'm super impressed by them. They work very, very well. And uh, as I say, they might not look like anything too innovative, but believe me, when you find yourself catching fish after fish on these, you'll really be impressed. Ocean angler weasels, I wouldn't be without them.